Two lives too many were taken on the Danforth that night. My sister Reese Fallon, 18 years old, and Juliana Kosis, 10. Reese always talked about her future, her future at McMaster, becoming a nurse, and how many kids she wanted. Reese and I, and our best friend Schieffer, like we always talked about like what our kids are going to be doing together in the future. Like when we're married, like we never expected something like this to happen. Happen. So I think it's just really hard to like understand that like she's gone. My wife and I were sitting on the couch, and uh, we got the call, frantic call from my daughter hiding in the bathroom after her friends were all shot at and four of them hit. And you know, I'm sitting comfortably on my couch. It's time for Canadians to get off the couch and start doing something about this gun violence and calling your representatives and saying we don't need handguns or assault rifles in Canada. It's ridiculous. We don't have a second amendment. We don't need that crap here. What we would like to see as a group, what we are in, unanimous in, is that we would ask our elected representatives to advocate for this, that they would advocate in caucus and in influence and in cabinet and with the Prime Minister and at all levels of government to support that. A ban on private ownership of handguns and assault rifles. The time is right. Right now, we have an opportunity for all of us um, to sign a petition, uh, to talk to our MPs, to change the way of thinking. And I, I hope that in the coming weeks, we will hear from Mr. Blair and uh, his reports to uh, Prime Minister Trudeau. And um, let's be bold. Let's, let's make a change. To get that call that, uh, you know, my daughter had been shot uh, as I was just going to bed on a nice summer evening uh, with my husband. And we heard this news and had no idea what to expect when we got to the hospital. and. Uh, those agonizing moments of waiting to hear uh, what condition our daughter was in. I, I, that was the worst, worst night of my life. And, uh, and then it turned out to be one of the best because we found out she was alive and did not require surgery. And it, it's been a long journey for healing, but here we are today to be able to talk about it. Today was the day seven months ago that this tragedy occurred and we're never going to forget it. Uh, we're here for the Fallon family and the Kozis family. Those those parents, I can't imagine they have. They're not getting their daughters back. They they were unlucky, and uh, we need to change the odds of this. Uh, it just cannot go on.